Hyderabad city, the fifth largest cosmopolitan city in India, is the home to high technology machine tools, pharmaceuticals, biotech biotechnology, defense and aerospace companies. Andhra Pradesh is called the bulk drugs capital of India for its leadership role in the production and exports of Indian bulk drugs manufacturing sector. The state called vaccines capital and healthcare capital of India is the home for leading biotechnology companies exporting many biotech products and vaccines across the world. India's first exclusive semiconductors and semiconductor related manufacturing SEJ third city has emerged as country's largest solar PV modules and cells manufacturing hub. With over 17 companies took allotments in the SEJ, Solar Semiconductor Limited is the first company in the SEJ to go into commercial production, exporting solar panel, panels to global market for more than a year. These innovative developments will make Andhra Pradesh an epicenter for the growth solar industry in the coming years. In the aerospace sector, the state played a leading role in developing aerospace and precision engineering SEZ in Hyderabad. I am happy to share with you that the Tata Advanced Systems in joint venture with world's leading military and commercial helicopter manufacturing company, Sikorsi, aircraft company, USA, is all set to roll out its first indigenously made Sikorsi S-92 helicopter in the month of November 2010. Andhra Pradesh also offers a great attraction to automobile sector and the strength of its strategic location and access to auto of India. I am happy to share with you that we have recorded some impressive success stories in manufacturing sector under public-private partnership model. A few worthwhile success stories to mention are Genome Valley, Jawaharlal Nehru Pharma City in Vishakhapatnam, Brandix, Apache and many others. I am sure some of the speakers in this conference will be addressing you more extensively on the success stories as case study in the latter part of the day. With the objective of helping in Indian manufacturing to achieve its true potential and the process within in an engine for job creation, the Government of India has proposed to create National Manufacturing and Investment Zones, NMIZs, across the country. The main objectives of NMIZs are to provide, to provide investments in the manufacturing sector and make the country a hub for both domestic and international market. To increase the sectoral share of manufacturing GDP to 25% by 2022. The double the current employment level in the sector and to enhance global competitiveness of the sector. I am confident that these major initiatives and developments will act as catalysts in the shaping Andhra Pradesh as a major manufacturing hub serving the requirements of both domestic and international markets.